Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today what we are going to discuss is all about what is the difference between data analysis and data analytics or we can call it like this. What is the difference between data analysis versus data science? So that's what we are going to discuss today. So the people who relate to data, that is database or data warehouse, we used to call data peoples. So they have a confusion between what is the difference between these two terms. And some people they used to think both are same and some people they used to think both are different only two categories so with respect to my thing it's purely not equal so the statement is purely different and the meaning is also purely different so in a one word if i want to tell you what this data analysis is all about for example i'm giving you some one gb of data of my customer information of past one year and i'm asking you what happened so far that is past i'm asking the past that means it is data analysis now data analytics I give the same 1 GB data to you, again the same customer information, the last one year information and having that information with you, I am going to ask what is going to happen by next year, that is future, what is going to happen. So in that case we used to call it as analytics. So if I ask something with respect to future, it is analytics. If I ask something about the past, then it is analysis. That is they used to call it as predictive analysis or analytics or we can say data science. Now. The thing is that any product which you have, any startup companies or any product based companies, they used to go with these two kind of analysis that is analytics and analysis. So most of the people are currently working with data analysis only because with respect to data analytics the resource or the projects will be very heavy budget one but thing demand is increasing as of now I am taking this video in 2017 going forward within by this year or within two years the demand with respect to the data science will be more. But just uh, that's a fact actually, but I'm saying so as of now, it's not like that um, that much uh, kind of a projects or things stuffs is not there, but even though we have a demand for it. So as a product, we need to do both data analysis and analytics part. Now the thing is, what kind of uh, uh, skill sets that the people need to have with respect to data analysis and data analytics, that is data science. See, if you are a data analysis, and uh, that means an analyst then you need to be strong in database, data warehouse and some programming languages. Programming languages. But the thing is, when you want to be a data analytics, analytics or you need to be a data scientist, then you need to be very strong in mathematics that is highly preferable and that is what the priority comes into picture. Then you need to be great and good in algorithms that you need to un uh, implement all your mathematical in al as an algorithmic way. And next comes your programming language or whatever DB or data warehouses, the next priority. Okay. So as a data science role, people, if you really see, the priority will go comes from mathematics algorithm, then comes programming language and whatever it is. But you think that in my company, I have a data science role, people who are doing kind of, a, they are showing more importance to data warehouse and uh, database and they are saying that they are a data scientist, mean, then it's almost like they are not utilizing the resource. As a real data science project and a real data science people, even if you ask them what is your academic, when I say real data science people, you can uh, inquire with a, a guy who work for Flipkart or Amazon or Google or Facebook or even some startup companies and product based, the real data science is, would, uh, would be saying like, I am my even my academic is mathematics or even my academic is statistics. So the people who belongs to that particular area only company used to recruit as a data scientist, maybe even as, a, as an engineering background we also can do but the thing is you need to be very strong in mathematics and algorithms. Okay, now the thing is if you take the data analysis, the, analyst, uh, the analyst, analyst, as I told you before, uh, they used to do the past, the analysis they used to do with the past data and the analytics guy used to predict the future. Now if you see for data science guy, he need an analyst guy because for the input data which I am giving for this guy, the analytics guy, the thing is I have to analyze all last one year or 10 year data and I have to prepare a report saying that this is what happened. Then only the data scientist guy can able to take that information and he will do some apply algorithms or predictive values, whatever he will apply on it and then he will say this is what going to happen by the 11th year or the next year. But if you see there is a, a, a failure or a fail and a success probabilities are there. So always we can't able to give 100% guarantee that the predictive analysis, the output which I gave will be working for 100% sure which I can able to give. 
But thing I'm just saying uh, that's a fact actually. So even for a data scientist, a base is need to be a data analysis analyst. So okay, if I'm I'm a data science guy and I don't know DB data warehouse and I can implement mathematics and algorithm, then I need to recruit a data analyst guy and I have to ask him to play with the existing data and you need to prepare a report saying that this is what happened in 10 years and I have to give that file as input to this data science guy to ask them to prepare me the what have what is going to be happen for the next year. So even for a data analyst role, they need one base which is data analysis. Even if you have both as a one single skill set, then it will be great. So as of now, as I told you, 2017 I am taking this video, we have more demand with respect to both analyst and analyst but the thing is with respect to analytics and analyst but the thing with respect to analysis that is data, data analyst people we have a more demand as of now in big organizations and going forward we will be getting more demand for the data scientist role also but it is going to be demand as of now we have a demand but supply is very less that is project is very less but people are expecting to uh, people are expecting to recruit data scientists but that's that's fact they are going to safe and say they are going to uh, recruit a resource so that in future if some project comes it will be getting into picture so and it's more paid a high paid uh, package will be there if you become a data scientist but very important if you want to be a data scientist then you need to be very strong in mathematics and algorithm that's very very important and I hear that many of my friends used to tell me that I am become a, I, 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 am, I am a data scientist. I am curious about it. I will ask how, how you are saying like that. They used to say that I am working with visualization tools, inside, inside tools. So I will, I will see the visualization or inside tool doesn't make you to become a data scientist. I can say you are a 20 percentage of data scientist if you are or a data analytics, um, if you are uh, uh, knowing some visualization tools, that's just 20 percentage. You need to be very, very, very good in algorithms and mathematics. Then only I can tell you that you are a data scientist. Then comes programming language and all those things. See, imagine if you are having a company and you need a data science guy and see, you know that they need to have a very strong mathematics and algorithm knowledge. Okay, I'm going to recruit some people. I'm in the panel. So one guy is coming saying that I'm good in Java or I'm good in, I'm good in big data, Hadoop, MapReduce or Spark, blah. So he's saying like this, but the thing is, the part which he is having blockages, he is not that much good in mathematics and algorithm, then it will be complex for me. I cannot recruit a Java guy and teach him mathematics. That is very complex for me. If you think in reverse, I am getting a mathematics guy who is very good in mathematics and algorithm, then I can teach him Java which will be easy for me. right? So. If, if I am recruiting like that, I can recruit because I can just teach him Java. That is enough. I can train him Java. So he will apply all his mathematical knowledge in Java. So that is where uh, the thing comes into picture. Even recent days, I used to ask some kind of doubts in Java programming language or even uh, the, the, up, the new functional programming is a Scala. I used to ask some doubts in Stack Overflow. I just bear that, I'm, I'm wonder that people are replying to me is belongs to mathematics and physics. See how they are showing some interest on the technology because since they understood what is data scientist and they know they are very strong in mathematics and algorithm. Now they are trying to learn the technology. They can easily map. But if the reverse, I am good in programming language and database and data warehouse. For us it is quite complex to enter into mathematics and algorithm because again we have to study from first to the 12th engineering mathematics and all those things. But if you try hard you can really get into it. So the main aim of the video I want to share you about the difference between these two and also what people mistakenly understanding the data science part. Even the employees or even uh, uh, the people uh, who sits in the project both are just they are having some dilemma what skill set that people should have if they want to be a data scientist. Even the recruiter having confusion, even the guy who attend the interview also having some confusion. So thanks for watching A2Z knowledge.com. Continue of this next video, I'm going to put what exactly data science and how the world need a data scientist, a kind of a video which I'm going to upload at the next part. So which you can stay in touch with our channel so that you will get that video. So if you really uh, like this video, please subscribe my channel, forward this to your friends and colleagues. We provide many technology videos in my channel, youtube.com slash A2Z knowledge videos is my URL. So in English and Tamil language we are providing. So thanks for watching A2Z knowledge.com.